And I really still believe in the upside potential. And I think that kid's going to win a Super Bowl. I really do. Um, but I don't think it's going to be this year. I think it's, I think his career arc, Wayne, could be very similar to Alex Smith's, okay. where he gets there. And Alex didn't get there, act theoretically, you know, in, in reality, he didn't get to the Super Bowl, but he was on that trajectory um, with Kansas City until Mahomes showed up. I, I could see Trey being kind of like Alex, that great prospect. He will work hard. He's a great kid, very athletic, all the traits you want, but it's not all natural. There needs to be some tutelage. There needs to be some growth. And then, like, you know, I don't, well, how many years did it take Alex Smith to get good? When did Harbaugh show up? Didn't yeah. Alex show up in 2005 and Harbaugh yeah. showed up in 2000? He was there eight years yeah, before Harbaugh time. showed up. I, I'm not saying it's going to take eight years, but I bet you it takes at least solid five. But but still, I would have a hard time trading Trey. But I think there may be some some powers that be behind the scenes, most yeah. notably Trey's agent, maybe Trey's family that are saying Trey loves it here, wants to be the guy, but if he is not the guy, he doesn't want to sit. And I, I, I think, I, I to me, yeah, I don't fault him if he doesn't want to sit. And I don't and fault anybody on Team Trey who's like, I don't, we don't want to sit anymore. Yeah. So I don't know what the answer is. Yeah. I, I right now there's no answer, but like you said, once, once there will be certain things that's going to start telling whoever they bring in for this third quarterback. I guarantee you. Like now, listen. I like the Marcus Mariota pickup because I like it for competition for Trey. But Marcus Mariota is a starting quarterback in the NFL, and so it's like, do you want to bring in that type of a caliber of guy? I get it. He's not the best quarterback out there, but he can come in here and run this offense for five or six weeks until uh, you know, Brock Purdy comes back and, and is healthy. And then again, it might be a competition because if the 49ers go five and no, Brock Purdy's not coming back in to start. You get what I'm saying? So like, yeah. it's a it's a weird it's a weird situation, and 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 it sucks because I want Trey Lance to freaking play, right? Because all he needs to do is play football, and then everybody will start to be able to see that this kid's ceiling is through the freaking roof, bro. And 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 unfortunately here, it's Brock Purdy messed it up, and it's no no fault to Brock, but they didn't know that they were gonna get the type of production they were going to get from a Brock Purdy, which is making them think twice. The Ron Carthen connection is huge because now that he's in Tennessee, remember when Trey Lance put the peace sign up or something like that on one of his posts on Instagram. Right, right. And, and now he, he did the okay. He did I think, okay. Or something like that. Yeah. Or, or something like that. It, like thumbs right, up or something. Right. And then he denounced it, you know, when they interviewed him. No, these guys are telling a story. We just got to pay better attention. And at the end of the day, it's business. It's nothing personal, right? So if the 49ers can recoup, bi good business. If they can recoup a first-round pick and something for the value of a person that hasn't played any football, it's kind of hard to back off from that. That you know, That's like saying, hey, man, you have, you've invested $100, but I'm going to give you back right now. I'll give you $90, and I'll give you something in the future. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough call. I'll tell you what's also a tough call is it's a tough call when thing when there's not a clear delineation right. of who's the best, right? Correct. Correct. And like Brock played great. I mm -hmm. think we would all acknowledge that. But now the elbow thing has clouded Thank everything. You. We don't know that he's good. He he didn't have arm strength to lose, and Thank if he you. loses arm strength, he may be not quite what you're looking for. So now you got Brock and let's say he Brock was here, but now with the injury, he's here. Okay. And then you had Trey and let's say Trey's here, but now with the improvement, he's here. So do you close. see how these guys are too, uh, really close? So close? And do you see then how I think one of the things the 49ers may fear is a literal divide down the middle of their locker room because you have two, kind of beauties in the eye of the beholder who's really better take me back I, Larry. Brock, there'll be guys who say brock's better he's won seven games he won mm -hmm. two playoff games mm -hmm. and then there's gonna be tr people going hey trey lance look at the arm strength look at the athleticism look at the look at the prospect that he is look at some of the plays that he makes and then it's going to be this constant who won the practice today who won the this who won the and Straight i just division. think that they're Deathly, I, I think they may trade Trey just because I think they're deathly afraid of that, of 
the, you know, you go, you come in after practice, we all run in media wise with our recorders and cameras and camera phones. And Hey, what'd you guys think of Trey? And these guys say, Oh my God, he's second to none. Hey, what did you think of Brock? Oh my, well, he showed last year what he's got. And then all of a sudden it's this murky 25% in this corner, 25% in that corner, 25% are saying whatever Shanahan says is fine. 25% are independent and are like, Hey man, this isn't okay. I'm not okay with what the team did. I think they should. That's what I think they fear. They fear a three ring quarterback circus because there's not a clear delineation where this guy's the one if healthy, that guy's the two. It's like they could, I agree with your pre previous statement. If Trey Lance starts this year and plays just okay, just, I'm not even talking great. Let's just say he's totally mediocre, completes 60% mm -hmm. of his passes, but the Niners go five and oh, I'm cool. with. There's going to be people there going, you know what? Go back to Brock. And then there's, they were, you were scoring 30 a game with Brock yeah. and now you're, yeah, you're five and oh, but you're only averaging 18 a game. Mm -hmm. And now, you know what I'm saying? So there's going to be all these different, who, you know, measuring sticks. And I think they fear the hell out of that. I really do. I, I wanted you to take me back just a little bit to the Joe Montana versus Steve Young days. And there was no social media. Right. So how in the hell was this handled or and addressed? Because there was it no. It was ugly. Media. It was You're ugly, like, hey, Wayne. But, it was but, but, really but, ugly. But you got to understand that the. Rooted against people, Steve Young and they rooted against Joe Montana and they, you know. Are we reliving history? Well, the one thing with Joe, Joe had won rings. You okay, know, understood. And, Super Bowls. Understood. and and he was the first love. I mean, the 49ers were a horrible franchise much of the 70s. And understood. then he was for many people my age or even older, they were like, you know, Joe Montana was it, and Steve Young was the new guy on the block. But then there were people, then when Joe was gone for two years with the back injury, Steve was ascending to be a, a not just a good or a great player, the MVP of the league. Mm -hmm. And yet there were people that still wanted to hand the, the job back to Joe, despite the fact that Young was the MVP of the league. So I get it. It's different. You never, you know, it never, yeah. I, I talked to Steve now and Steve to this day doesn't feel like he's won over the entire fan base. Oh, he hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough. Isn't that yo. amazing? It is. I won a Super Bowl. He's all a famer. It is. And it's unfortunate. So, like, I guess you can measure it. Brock got us to the championship game, and Trey hasn't played but two, you know, he hasn't played that many games. And so it's going to be tough. I hope they don't trade Trey Lance, but there's always a possibility. I just want, just, I'm glad you're putting it out there. I was, I didn't want to be the only person putting it out there. I don't want people to think I want trade, uh, Trey Lance traded, but I do want the 49ers to win. And I don't, I, I, that's at the end of the day, I just want to win a Super Bowl. I'm, I'm 41 years old, haven't seen one since 1994, and then I got to go back to the 80s. So I would love to take my son to a parade within the next, next year. How about that? This, this upcoming year, I would love to take him to a parade. Yeah. There you go.